Hi, I'm Chris Cardona here on the incredible Icon of the Seas. I'll be bringing you a series of highlight videos and that's coming up on Talking Cruise. So we are here again on Icon of the Seas, and uh, these highlight videos are not meant to replace my full tour videos. You can expect those coming as well. But I just want to give you an idea of some of the highlights, some of the best things that you really must uh, explore and enjoy on board this ship. Now, one thing you'll notice when you come on board Icon of the Seas is the sheer size difference between this and its predecessors, the Oasis class ships that have previously been the largest cruise ships in the world, but you'll definitely notice uh, more space pretty much everywhere on board this ship, and it, it does hold a whole lot more guests, so that's uh, part of what is the outcome of going that much larger. Over here we have the Royal Edge, and uh, this is a pretty uh, hair-raising experience where you actually go off the edge of the ship through the Crown and Anchor logo. So you swing over the edge and back around again. Now there is a fee for this and that can really vary based on when and where you book. Uh, online uh, before your cruise tends to be a little bit less expensive. Uh, I think I've seen ranging from $35 to $45 per person. Quite a few safety rules as far as height and weight restrictions. I think I passed all of those. Over here we do have Adrenaline Peak, which is the rock climbing wall. And this is definitely different than what you've seen on Oasis because they had two rock climbing walls off the uh, back of the ship in the boardwalk area. This is more like what they've had on some of the Quantum class ships over on the side. It's pretty challenging though, nonetheless. And this is a new venue that they've added to this particular class, and this is the base camp. Let's take you inside here a little bit. So, it is a bar first and foremost, a great place to come and get out of the sun. But they do also have uh, complimentary eats here as well. transitioning from breakfast to lunch right now. So here's some of the things that they offer. Warm pretzels, potato tots, that's always good. Hot dogs, chicken fingers, smash burgers. It's quite a large space as well. Lots of seating available, at least right now before the food started to be served. Now what Royal Caribbean ship would be complete without mini golf? Over here we have the Lost Dunes. Some nice theming here. I do think that Royal has some of the best mini golf courses on board their ships. You'll definitely get your steps in if you're on board Icon of the Seas. It doesn't take long, but to get from one end to the other is a long journey. Another new space we have here is the hideaway. And uh, as the sign says, this is for adults 18 and over. Now they've uh, typically had adult spaces on board other ships, like in the solarium. The ship doesn't really have a true solarium concept, so this really is uh, one of the spots for adults to kind of chill out. And I'll just take you down into the pool area. It's not very large, and as you can see, pretty early in the morning, it's quite full already. But it does have an infinity edge pool. And the cool thing from here 
is when you're at the edge, you can look down to your surf side below. So in addition to the pool, there is this terrace seating area over on this side. And I'll just wrap you around and show you the bar area because again, you can't have, especially an adult area without a bar. There are some fantastic art installations. Uh, this is one of them. There's a few of these around the ship. They look like floaties, but they're actually made out of metal, which is pretty cool. And one thing Royal has done exceptionally well on the ship, and I think they've you know, pretty much done that on most of their ships, is the flow from area to area. There's really no dead ends. So you, you really go from one space into the next. And here we are at the hideaway bar. So this is the bar exclusively for the adult section of the hideaway. It's also nice, there's quite a bit of shaded area. We're on our way to Mexico right now and it is uh, stifling out here. But you have really nice aft views from this bar area. Great place for sail away. Another thing I've noticed is that near all the water areas, there are lots of towel exchange locations so you're not having to hunt around uh, I've had that frustration on a few ships where you know you never to find a towel when you need one and right at the entrance of the hideaway you do have a couple of nice shaded hot tubs lots of hot tubs on this ship okay i'll take you on a walk through the water park now so there's a little bit of something for everyone. If you're more of the thrill seeker, they do have these drop slides here that twist around. Uh, there's a single mat racer where you go on a, uh, a, a flat mat. Storm chaser. You can just see how everything sort of intersects with each other over here. It's pretty cool. And then these larger diameter tubes, these are actually for uh, family slides where you can all go together. So this is one of those family tube rides. You can see it has a sort of translucent section that goes over the edge of the ship and then spirals around. And here's a clever idea for storage of people's belongings when they're on the slides. There is only one flow rider on board this ship. And on the other side, they do have the traditional crown and anchor logo. This one you do not climb all over. If you do, you might get kicked off the ship. Now here we are on deck 15 forward. And this is one of the larger pools here. Lots of pool space, lots of places to lounge. Whether you want full shade, full sun. They've also done a great job of keeping you in touch with the ocean throughout this ship. You'll especially notice it on some of the interior sections like down on the promenade. But even up here on deck 15, you always have nice panoramic views of the ocean. You want to know you're on a ship. At least I do. Now here we're at the front of deck 15. Again, lots of nice places here to lay out. Just tons of shaded seating. This is my preference personally, so I'm glad to see it here on board. And here's a smart idea is they put the table tennis ping pong uh, in this sort of uh, room that you can control the wind flowing across the ship and keep the ball on the table. Once you're up on the top decks, you really see just how many layers they've built into the decks themselves. So they're not just full long deck stretching aft forward. Here's just one venue of lime and coconut on board Icon of the Seas. There are several. So over here we have the Cove Pool, which has an infinity edge, and this is open to uh, all families. You can see here they have these sort of playful swing setups and lounging space. 
And then here we are at another casual included eatery. This is El Loco Fresh, very popular on uh, several other Royal Caribbean ships. Got another hand washing station. Good job, guys. Here's your salsa station to top off your food the way you want it. And they do have fresh made chips, tortillas here. So the offerings essentially are quesadillas, burritos, and bean salad, and fruit salad, some nachos. And then here's your taco offerings, pulled pork, chicken and beef, beans, rice, and queso. And then over here to the side, we have Cantina Fresca, which is the bar inside El Loco Fresh. And here we have another lime and coconut. You'll see quite a few of these around the ship. And then we've got these high top chairs and tables. And these are a nice uh, spot for friends to gather. And here you get a better view of just how big the Royal Bay Pool is. Over here we have a new concept and the first of a swim up bar for Royal Caribbean ships. And this is uh, Swim and Tonic here on Icon of the Seas. So this is yet another pool with an infinity edge. I do believe the original concept was this to be adults only, but uh, they have since changed that and it is now open to guests of all ages. And you guessed it, we have another lime and coconut. I do actually like the idea that they've kept that name throughout the ship. It's a little better than like Sky Bar and Pool Bar. So here we are aft on deck 17, and this is the entrance to the sports court. So you can see right now they're doing basketball, but they'll also have pickleball and other sports up here. Thanks for watching our series of highlight videos from here on board Icon of the Seas. Don't forget to like this video, post your comments and questions, hit that notification bell, and subscribe for more Talking Cruise.